up everybody welcome to WPSA and um I am doing the um let's see the um Q and A um and I have all your answers and everything and um here I go. Um and thank you everybody that has asked me questions and you know were really nice and everything I really do appreciate that so here we go um first is back to curls back to the curls excuse me and she asked do you cook on a daily basis every other day me and Kimmy take turns cooking like I'll make dinner one day she'll make dinner one day or her mom will make dinner her dad can't cook he will burn the house down literally uh, <laughs> yes, like the day I made Philly, Philly, Phillies today. So, yeah. If you could live anywhere, where would you? Where would that be? If I could live anywhere, I would love to live in India. I always wanted to go to India, um, South America, Brazil, Argentina. Um, uh, let's see, our uh, somewhere close to the beach, Jamaica. You know, the Caribbeans nice um do you want to go to vacation this year so um yes I'm, I'm actually going on vacation this year um we're going to walt disney world in orlando florida i've been so many times and i told myself well i'm gonna take my son one day and um this year we're gonna go i'm very excited um what is your favorite cosmetic line um milani Milani is, um, I like it. You can get it in the grocery store and stuff. And, you know, I've not really like all fancy, fancy makeup like MAC or anything like that. I mean, Milani is just fine with me. I, you know, I do like NYX a lot. Um, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that's guest Kimmy's department, y'all. <laughs> Miss Flammable asks, how do you deal with haters? Did he ever get you down? I deal with haters like, you know, like breath fresh air, <sighs> inhale and exhale. They don't bother me. They don't get me down because I have a life outside this, like this bitch, okay? You know, folks are like, you know, you go on those, um, those guru hater sites. Let me tell you something. If someone takes, like, literally... A big part of their day to sit there and make a site about other girls and, and hate on them. I'm telling you, man, I think it's wonderful because as in actuality, they love them. And it's just nothing but a big old fan site for us. And I'd really do appreciate it because in actuality, you assholes are giving more views to us girls. I mean, really, you do. You sit here and you talk all this shit about me and my son, but you don't know shit. Because in reality, you meet me on the outside. I mean, I rip you from your ass to your appetite, so you keep talking, and it really doesn't hurt. Because I'm just like, wow, this is what you do all day? Damn, that's, you have no hobby, you know, you don't, you don't have a job, you mean, no current employment, you don't have a sex life, nothing. Obviously not because you're too focused on me, which is great, so thank you. Love it, boo. Um, Pink Wool asked, do you have any plans to give my boyfriend Cameron, which is my son, any brothers or sisters? So, let me tell you something. Birth hurts. And, um, two epidurals, it still hurt. And, um, I, uh, no. <laughs> no, Cameron is it. Um, yes. My mom hasn't asked for any more grandchildren. She has three. My brothers have girls. And, what are you doing? I'm trying to make this video. She's just look at her. She's just just everywhere jumping. But anyway, I said um, my mom hasn't asked for any of her grandchildren. Besides, my brothers have three. They have they they have little girls. You know, brother has two little girls, and my son. That's it. We no no um. <laughs> would you like to get married again? I would. I would love to get married again. Um. Because, you know, being married, it was nice. But, you know, he he wasn't very, he was, he stuck his dick in a lot of people. So, I had to get rid of him. 
But yeah, I would love to get married again. If I did have any more kids, I would adopt. Girl, you know birth hurts. Um, hey, Miss Brown. XOXO asks, girl, if you won the lottery, what would you do first or buy first? When I, if I won the lottery, Cameron would have a big trust fund set up um, for his education, just everything. Cameron would come first. He would get everything he wanted. You know, his education gets set up, things that he needed, and just everything. I would have it planned, everything. Like, college education, car, this, that, whatever. When I died, all the stuff is set up for him first. He comes first. That's, that's how it is with my baby. Everything would be him first, 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 first. Then I take care of my mom, my dad, get them whatever they want. And uh, my Kimmy's mom and dad, I would like get them whatever they wanted, and then me and Kimmy would just be. That would be it. We would just just go to Linux Small and just like just destroy that store. Yes. Um, <laughs> that'd be it. You know. Um, oh, I probably have a big party or like this YouTube gathering with all of my friends from YouTube. We gather up, hang out, chill out. We all go to Vegas or something like that. That'd be pretty cool. Um, let's see. Um, What's your dream car? My dream car is a Audi. There's so many Audis that I like, but it's the convertible Audi in red. I love that car. I think the um, 2011 that's out now. Um, last thing we changed about YT. Uh, the thing I would change about YT, YT would be the privacy parts, or not my actually privacy. I would have it where, um, you know, just where you know where privacy could be respected but just you know you you won't have like folks coming up on it like full on your page and shit you know what i'm saying you know acting crazy people wouldn't be taking other folks videos and fucking with them making other channels out of them and stuff like that you know what i'm saying you know it's just you know folks is just rude and they like to fuck around with you but you know karma's a bad bitch and it'll fuck you up in the end so let them do them and you do you and let them do whatever because obviously that's all they do um let's see uh, sof s sof 7133s i'm not asking me a ass but do you still talk to the father of your child yeah I, I do. We talk. That's about it. Case closes. I mean, we talk. You know, it's a sign. We talk. He, we talk, and I talk, and we talk, and and the story. Um, that's nothing special. I mean, he's there, but you know, I'm there more than he is because he's got what he's doing. He's in Ohio, and I'm here. So basically, yeah. You weren't being asked. You were just asking the question. And answered it. Um, let's see, uh, Miss Meg. I love her. Solonex right one eighty two asked them. Let's see. Who is your favorite YT guru? I I have none. Um, the reason why is because um, there's a lot of big gurus on here, and there's. Some of them are straight assholes, and they could be they're dicks to people. And I understand, you know, you're big and stuff on YouTube, but there's is a level of respect because a lot of people look up to some of these girls and guys, whatever on YouTube, and they just talk to them like shit and ignore them. And just I'm just like, damn, that's kind of fucked up. And you wonder why folks hate on you. I mean, don't be no dick, you know. What I mean, I mean, there's some folks on here that do badass, good makeup, but they got nasty attitudes, and I'm just like, no. Um, Um, well, if I did have a guru that I like the most, a guru that's starting out that I think that's going to be really big and her makeup is on point, and I've told her this plenty of times, is my little sister, Julia, Miss JBM22. The girl is like only 18 years old. Her makeup is amazing, and I know she's going to do very well. Um, she's talented. She's an she can draw, she can paint, she can sing, play the guitar, all of this stuff. She's multi-talented, and something good is going to happen to her. And I told her I will be her head of security, because I know Kung Fu. 
I have known been known to pull guts out people's asses like this. The rectal destroyer. <laughs> um, who's some of your favorite YouTubers non related? Oh <laughs> Onision, of course. That guy's like really, really hilarious. Um Yeah, 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 and that's about it. Not much, I know, weird. Uh, holy lulu lulu. Hiya, this is the sophisticate. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I was wondering if you got any boys or girls. I got a little boy. Um, he's, he's the bomb. He'll be two the week after next. Next, yeah, 24th of this month. I'm so excited. I went, ordered his little cake today. This is little cars, you know, Mater and Lightning McQueen's little cupcake cake. Oh, I'm so excited. He's just a good little boy. And he, he knows his numbers, um, his ABCs. Um, he can spell his name. He can say Auntie Kimmy, uh, Mama, uh, Uncle Rick, which is. Um, Kim's dad, Kimmy's daddy, and Auntie Linda, which is Kim's mom, and it's just really cute. Rana Hart's makeup says, "I make you start doing making videos on YouTube, my best friend." And this is so ironic because I'm the one that told her to do make start doing videos. Her, she's like, "You finally do make, make videos." I said, "Sure, we'll start doing them. Haven't stopped. Ain't gonna stop soon." So. I thank her. She was inspired me, you know, just to go around make these. I had another channel, and I used to like do these really stupid videos where we would go in the mall and be like, "Why are there Jamaican people working in the Chinese food restaurant, and why is there Asian people working in the American Daily?" I don't get it. It was like weird, the cultural mix up and stuff, and we would go under with the camera and stuff. It was pretty cool. Um, mommy is six six two X. TX asked me, do you want more kids? I will adopt more kids. <laughs> but that's it. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, Solely Beauty asks, um, let's see. What is your favorite thing to do on a summer day? My favorite thing on a summer day, summer day, go to the park with my son, walk around, read a nice book outside, write. I might just go by myself and write because... I've got to finish up a book I'm writing and just write, write. Have a nice frosty glass. Mm. A Budweiser. Or like, you know, a good beer. Beer's good, people. Yes. If you're under 21, you can't have it unless you live in another country. You know, you can drink beer, but... If you're over 21, you can drink that shit. It's a good beer. Let me tell you what's a good beer to drink, people. I know this all says it's a good beer to drink. I'm telling y'all right now, it's Ice House. This shit is so good. And a nice frosty mug. Okay. Love girl. 8282. Miss Ashley asks, so who are your top three friends of YouTube? Uh, I don't pick favorites. Everybody, all you guys are my favorites. Let me tell you something. When I made this channel and I started calling everybody baby girls, everybody's like, why are you having baby girls? Because you're like my kids, or you're like my little sisters, or you're like my daughters, my kids. I take care of you. You all, like, once you're my subscriber and you're a girl, especially my girl, you're a baby girl, and you're my friend, and if you ever need me to talk, to, not need someone to talk to, or someone to just like be like, hey, hey, how you doing? I'm going to be here. So, you know, I love you all and I have no favorites. I'm not like that. I, everyone is right here from this person to that person. If someone's starting out and then like, hey, please, could you give me some tips? I will give you tips. I will give you a shout out. I will do whatever it is to help you out. You know, I'm just your friend. It's about being sincere and it's also about respect and it's also about giving credit to where it's due. You know, when I do these videos, and I have my credit to who made my background, my music and stuff. I always put the credits because that's where you're supposed to give credit to. It's always important. I've all, I I believe that. And with just like when somebody gives me a gift or send me something or or whatever I'm doing, something, I always give credit. I always do that because it's important. 
and like I said if you ever need me I'm here message me I'm you know that's what I have to do to be here for you guys you know I just don't do the, these beauty videos and stuff like that I give advice and I talk to you guys you know and I know my temper y'all how I get mad but I I have a reason to because I'm not gonna have anybody run over you people like you shouldn't be getting angry over this this person let me tell you something if you have a friend and they're getting their ass whooped you just gonna let them sit there and watch your friend get the ass whooped kind of bullshit is that you you go in there and jump and fight with them don't just sit there and be like they're getting their ass whooped i'm not gonna get my hair fucked up i'm gonna do that shit if i'm your friend and you need me i'm gonna be there with you i'm gonna be there toe to toe side by side i'm just gonna sit there and somebody whoop your ass so don't do that so yeah you know folks don't understand that because they're too scared you know i don't want to be i don't want to be associated with scary folks you know you, you got to be up there strong for yourself and try to like stand up for yourself and if you need me I got your back I always remember that and like I don't have favorites everybody's my favorite I all of you all you guys are all my girls uh, I describe yourself I describe myself um, as a strong person with a, a strong person with a backbone that don't take shit I'm no nonsense I look fear in the face and I'm like, come on, bring it, motherfucker. That's me. I, um, I, you know, some folks are probably like, she ain't, I don't know. I've always been like this. I learned this from my mom. You don't let nobody run you over. I, I don't. When I see folks getting run over and people talking to them like they're stupid, I'm like, hey, hey, you chill that shit out. For real, I don't like that. And I stand up for my friends. I'm, I'm protector. That's what I am. I try to look after all my girls. That's what I do. Are you going to have any more kids? Girl, I already told you that. Text you about that. Um, <laughs> if your woman can smell like anything you want her to smell like, what would she be? If you girls didn't know, I have a girlfriend. Her name is Celia and she's pretty. And she wears, um, she wears, what she wears? What the hell does this girl wear? She wears, um, this Victoria's Secret stuff. It smells so good. And, and, oh yeah, let me rewind I'm back. Probably the good, the good asset girls are probably going, oh my god, she's gay, she's got a girlfriend. Print the presses, yes, print it up in big letters right there on the forum. Algae Daily PSA likes to lick pussy. I want you to put it up there so everybody can see it. So when they come back, they want to ask. And if someone asks me on this video, are you really? I'm not even going to answer it. Just look at me right now. Yes, I am. Okay, all right, there you go. Don't don't even ask it anymore because I'm gonna look at it and blink and ignore it. All right, that's my choice, my sexuality. You got a problem with it, you can get off my page. All that like uh, homophobic shit, I'm not with it. You can get away. Homophobia, racism, that, no, get it off my page, okay? All right, I'm gonna explain it to you right now. Okay, y'all understand? You don't? No, you don't? Bye. All right, um, but anyway, she smells like this Victoria's Secret stuff. It smells so good. But I really would want her to wear some of this stuff called, um, oh my goodness, what is this stuff? I really would like her to wear this Swiss Army stuff because it's unisex and it smells so good. It smells like CK1. Yes. What is my favorite item I reviewed? Oh, I just reviewed it. My, um, BH1, um, my BH Cosmetic. Actually, it's to my BH Cosmetics 88 palette, which I love, which I use on my eyes. And my um vapor beauty cosmetics um um review oh my god that is like the best foundation ever and it matches my skin tone on point so i this it's one of the best reviews i've done um masaki um five two zero zero eight s who's your favorite youtube guru like i said earlier I don't really have any, but you know the one I love right now that's really growing is Miss JBM22. So te and technically she's my favorite right now. What's your favorite candy bar? Twix. Do you have any kids your own? Yeah, my son. He's one. Will be two. Um, let's see. Okay. All right, um, Miss JBM22, Julia asks, if you could numb any food forever, what would it be? <laughs> oh, girl, if I could numb. Actually, I can't be one. Can I all pick? No, I can't be one. If I had to numb one food forever, it would be. Damn. 
That's messed up. Julia, did you somebody like that? Um, <laughs> if I could numb one food forever, it would be Golden Crisp cereal. I love that cereal. It was so delicious. So, yes. Um, hold on, I'll be right back. I'm sorry I had to help put the groceries up, but she said, ask me if I could numb any food forever for the rest of my life. Like I said, it'd be these golden crisps with a little bear on it. Those cereals are so good. And I love cereal, y'all. Honey Nut Cheerios, any kind of Cheerios, but the golden crisp cereals are best because it's got a little bear on it. Let's see. Uh, P.S. If I came to Georgia, would you give me a place to sleep? Girl, you know we would. We love you. You're my little sister. We take we take care of you. Come out here. Um, I'll you know. Yeah, just come on here. <laughs> um, my best friend Kimmy Toxic Crust asked me if you could bring someone famous back to life. Who would you bring back to life and why? She knows who it is. I would bring back Kurt Cobain. Um, and he probably would go back to die after he sees this music today because it's really ridiculous. Um, uh, he, he would be really sick with the music scene today. But I would bring him back just to let him look and be like, please help this generation of music because especially with the rock mainstream music and the rock and the alternatives and heavy metal is not what it used to be the grunge sucks there's not a lot of metal bands out there that are actually good the only band that is actually doing good right now my eyes is incubus and sound garden that's about it slash is doing great you know it's not there's not a lot and if he if he was here he would be like y'all stop let's get some, let's put some decent music back on the radio Jackie asks, J. Jackie asks, what's your favorite recipe? Oh, well, my favorite recipe um, will have to be, like, I have a lot, but I'm known for my wings. I make, like, these really good wings, and I had to be a Christmas party last year here at the house, and we had a whole bunch of people, and they, like, ate the wings, left bones, and, like, a bunch of buzzards. I turned around, and I was like, what the fuck? Gone. And um, I just like, kind of, like, I make like different varieties of wings, teriyaki, honey barbecue, hot, mild, lemon pepper, um, there's, uh, make, I make different kinds, so those are my, my favorite recipe I make, and like every time I make them, folks just gather out of nowhere, like, hey, what you cooking, wings? I'm like, yes, so, yes. Lush Lover asked me, well, again, my favorite YouTube guru, like I said, none, except for Mr. JB22, who is my favorite right now, which is going to be big. Um, yes, thank y'all for asking me these questions, and I gave you the answers, and um, thank you guys. Um, if you got any more, leave them below and i answer them. But if you're going to be one of the people that asked me the question that I just answered in this video, I'm just going to look at the question and blink because I'm like, did you just hear anything I just said? But, um, yeah, <laughs> crazy. I love you all. You guys have a great night. Bye.